Hey guys, this is a, a very quick video on uh, EBS modules. So, uh, you know, whenever we are launching an EC2 instance, so we have uh, encryption option for all of our EBS volumes, right? So here I'm selecting launch instance, Amazon Linux T2 micro, and I'm going to select only one EC2 instance. So here in storage, see every time, if you want to encrypt, so manually while launching your EC2 instance, you need to navigate uh, here in encryption field and you need to select the required encryption. But instead of, you know, selecting this option always, so if you want to encrypt all your EBS volumes, you can enable one setting in your EC2 dashboard. So after enabling that setting, whatever the volumes we are going to launch, those all volumes will by default get that encryption option. To enable that, navigate to EC2 dashboard. And here under account attributes, you can find settings option. Click on that settings. And here you can see encryption EBS. Always encrypt new EBS volumes. And what is the encryption key you want to use? So if you want to go with the default encryption key, you can select that. Or if you have your own encryption keys, you can simply select that and click on save changes. I would like to go with the default one, click on save changes. Now, when I'm launching any new EC2 instance after enabling that feature, here observe, this is my root volume. And here you can see that encryption is automatically selected. And whenever you are creating a new volume also, the new encryption key is going to enable. So you can save some time like uh, every time you really no need to or accidentally so you really no need to uh, miss that uh, enabling encryption option so with this single option along with that we do have a very small feature so that is a uh, uh, console experiments for example if you are working with a lot of snapshots let's assume you have hundreds and hundred snapshots here and uh, that look experience and all is not that much good so you can enable this feature optimized view of the ebs snapshot screen whenever we are dealing with a large number of snapshots simply select this option click on save settings so that is going to give you a new experience compared to this uh, a regular or traditional one so that's it for uh, this video guys thanks for watching